Hi everybody and welcome back to Beauty and Jams. I thought it was about time for an updated video comparing our smaller, what we used to call junior size, with our regular nail wrap. So let's just jump right in. On one hand, I have, I'm gonna refer to them as our juniors because it's stuck in my head, but these are intended for women with more petite fingernails or children. We typically say under about the age of eight, but we know as human beings that that can vary. And then on the other hand, and I have Waikiki and this is our regular normal adult size. So I want you to take a quick peek at this because there are a couple of sizes that overlap on this. So the smallest size that's going to be on a regular adult size is going to overlap with this one right here. Okay. Do you see these two, how these are overlapped right here? Now this one this one and this one are the same size. So you're actually going to get several um, out of this. So this whole row right here is going to um, be that smallest wrap. So if this wrap is your pinky, like it is for me, you're gonna get four pinkies out of it. Uh, no, two, four, you're gonna get six pinkies out of that. Now, the thing that I want you to remember is with juniors, you're not only looking at the, the width of your nail, you're also looking at the length of your nail. If you have super small nail beds, then, and very thin nail beds, then juniors might be an option for you. Um, you probably are not gonna get use out of these smaller ones down here, but you might, for, for example, for me, I use this size right here for my ring finger and my pointer finger. I would be able to get one use out of one wrap. Instead of taking that wrap and using it on both of these ring fingers, I would only be able to get one wrap on one finger because of the length of my nails. Now, even though I keep my nails super short, my actual nail beds, the, the distance from the tip of my nail down to the cuticle, that part is actually what I would consider medium to long. That's the part that you measure for French tips. So keep that in mind when you're looking at juniors. Also, this, um, this one right here, I always say my ring finger, my pointer finger, that one is going to overlap as well. Do you see this right here? Let me see if I can zoom for you on this. Okay. So the ring finger, the second one, the second one down is also going to overlap with this one right here. And then, this one right next to it. So you're also going to get two, four, six wraps that are gonna overlap with this size. You're gonna get six wraps that overlap with this size. Again, you're gonna get this here, this one, these two both overlap with this one, and this one and this one both overlap with the second one, so, okay? So let's move to the third one down. So starting at the Jamberry logo wrap, one, two, third one down, you actually only have one wrap that overlaps with that. And then going down to number one, two, three, four, you're gonna have one wrap that overlaps with the fourth one down, okay? Now, the fifth one down, this one right here, there is not one from the smaller size that overlaps with this. It's actually skip number five, you get zero, you get one that overlaps with this. So you'll get three out of this set, you'll get three out of this one, and then you'll get six, six, and six. So starting, so starting from the top, working your way down, okay? Let me see if I can do this for you. So starting at the top, working your way down, you're gonna get six total junior wraps from the smallest size, from this one. From this one, you're gonna get six total wraps on the juniors from this. You will get three total wraps from this one, three total wraps from this one, zero. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, if, if you use this fifth one, there are not any on the juniors that are the exact same size as this. And then you're gonna get three total from the juniors. Now, when I'm saying three versus six, that goes back to this, and that would be this whole row because you get one, two, three. 
Remember, if you have short nail beds, you might be able to get um, you might be able to get um, two fingers out of one of these wraps. If you have medium to long nail beds, you are only going to get one finger on each of those. I hope that makes sense for you when you're trying to decide whether or not you want to go for the junior sizes or the regular sizes. For me, what it personally comes down to for myself as an adult wearing juniors, it comes down to design. So if there's a specific design that I want that's only available in junior, then I go ahead and pick it up because I have a daughter and she can wear the other sizes. So if you're trying to compare apples to apples, at least hopefully this helps you. Um, if all you have are sample sizes, the samples that you have are these, you get one, and then you get two of this size, this one, and this one, okay? So those four smaller ones are the sample sizes that if you have a full sheet of little samples, hopefully that helps you kind of gauge what we're talking about here. All right, so I hope you guys found this helpful. If you do not have a personal consultant, I would love to be your one and only nail slinger. I will leave some information below to my Beauty and Jam Rockstar VIP page. I would love to have you join us if you don't already have a personal consultant. Until our next video, I'll see you later.